What if I told you that there is a different and maybe even better way to learn from tutorials that starts when you stop doing them? Now, when I'm scrolling through one of the many platforms I use to consume Blender stuff, I see a lot of people's work. I see their donuts, I see their motion graphics, I see their headphones, and I see all of the other cool things that they have created using tutorials. But then I go to check the comments and I oftentimes see this one single question. What should I make next? This question means you are eager to learn, you are ready for the next challenge and you want to do something else. So that's the first and major thing nice when it comes to learning a new software or whatever skill you want however by saying what should i make next you will probably be fed a couple of answers which just state like you could follow this tutorial next or you could follow this tutorial next and this is exactly where my point of stop doing blender tutorials comes in so let me ask you this what did you actually learn from your last tutorial? Did you gain any applicable knowledge from it? Or did you just follow the steps until you came to a result which sort of matched the uh, result in the video? If the answer to this question is the latter, you are probably going about it wrong. Why? Well, instead of actually gaining knowledge, you just followed something step by step, doing exactly what the creator told you and probably forgot to learn anything from it. So imagine this scenario. Somebody asks you to apply the knowledge that you've gained from a tutorial, which you saw two or three days ago, to a different object or a different scenario entirely. Would you be able to do it? Well, usually when you just follow the tutorial step by step, the answer to this question would be no! Instead of actually gaining applicable knowledge, you have to just basically follow somebody's instructions, which don't always stick around that well in your mind. So in this video, I will help you to look at tutorials from a different perspective so you can gain knowledge instead of just following the knowledge that is presented, which will definitely help you get better at Blender. This is also exactly why I always try to teach an idea or a concept in Blender that you can execute. Even in my first video, the premise is about creating animated linked objects using collection instances. Now I've packaged it in a 40 minute video. Um, kind of long about creating this hallway uh, with this nice airlock door but the overall idea is just teaching you how collection instances can help you animate linked objects so this is the core piece of knowledge i'm trying to convey in this tutorial now oh. if only i did that in uh, 10 minutes but hey it was my first video so uh nonetheless i believe that every tutorial was created with this same idea in mind to teach one or several pieces of knowledge or it was already set up to convey just a single message. That's why you have tutorials which go from A to Z, like um, this one, for example, but you also have other ones which are very specific and just teach you one single thing in a short video, like this one. In the end though, their intentions are both the same. And my idea is that the intention is to make you knowledgeable and give you something that you can start applying to your own work. So how can you go about trying to understand these core pieces of information from every tutorial? Well, first of all, I'd recommend not creating the same object as in the video. Instead, do a spin on it. So instead of doing a donut, why don't you do a glazed cinnamon roll or another pastry that you really like? Or instead of doing this octo plushie don't from my video, why don't you do the stuffed animal you had as a child? By doing it this way, you're forcing yourself to take the knowledge that you're presented with and apply it to a different object. Now, doing this comes with its own set of hurdles as you go along the video, um, which might seem like a hassle. And to be honest, it is, but it will definitely help you ingrain the knowledge that is presented in the video in your mind. So besides making it harder for yourself doing it this way, doing a different object or project can also make your life a little bit easier because you are now doing something you actually care about. So let's say you want to do a project. Instead of just doing the cinnamon roll, you could do like an entire breakfast table, including a cup of coffee, some fruits, different types of pastries, obviously the cinnamon roll, some butter, other ingredients, well, everything you need for a breakfast table. Whether it's an entire project or just the cinnamon roll instead of a donut doesn't really matter, but make it something that you enjoy, make it something that you want to make. This way, all of the hurdles are easier to overcome as you now have a goal you want to reach and which brings you joy. A little side note though, don't get too ambitious. Start relatively small and do something that is obtainable because else these hurdles will turn into mountains and you won't be able to overcome them, nor will you 
want to. The good thing here though, is that each and every struggle you'll face will help ingrain the knowledge into your mind. You'll probably even need different tutorials to overcome some of the hurdles you'll face, but this is a good thing as it will help reinforce the knowledge into your mind. The second big tip I can give you is to not immediately follow along with the tutorial. Instead, watch it once and pay extra attention to the parts which are of particular interest to you. Then after watching it, start working on your project. Now try to do this from the top of your mind and only consult the tutorial whenever you need it. This will force your brain to think about the stuff you have just learned Love instead that. of just looking at the tutorial again, which will chew it out all for you. You can also compartmentalize this. So for example, a tutorial might be divided in modeling, shading and rendering. Watch each of the parts of the tutorial individually. So start off with modeling here and then go to your own project and try to apply the things you've learned again, doing this from the top of your mind. Then when you are finished, you can continue on to the next part and so on and so on. In the end, practice is key and repetition really helps remembering. I mean, even the Teletubbies knew that, right? So it's when you stop doing tutorials and start applying them when you'll really start growing and learning faster. Why don't you start now by checking out this video right here and leaving a comment telling me what you have actually learned from this video. Thanks to all of these awesome people for supporting the channel.